Is that what it's called? And it's called nutritarian because it's focused on, why is it called nutritarian? Because the focus is on foods that are high in nutrients, that are nutrient rich, that are comprehensively give all the nutrients humans need. Actually, they're perfectly nutritious. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. We will learn from Dr. Joel Foreman, a highly respected physician, best-selling author, and a leading expert in the field of nutrition. Dr. Foreman is the creator of the Nutritarian Diet, a revolutionary approach to eating that stands in stark contrast to the standard American diet, SAD. His Nutritarian food plan is anti-aging, anti-cancer, anti-disease, nutrient-rich foods. He'll walk us through the process of withdrawing from the SAD diet and share his four-step plan for achieving lasting success. Plus, you'll discover how a nutritarian diet can actually enhance your taste for food, allowing you to enjoy the true flavors of nutritious, whole foods like never before. Buying nutritious single-ingredient foods are not only healthier than packaged ultra-processed foods, but also less expensive. Get ready to transform your eating habits and experience the incredible benefits of eating for optimal health. So a nutritarian diet, which we're talking about in this presentation, is vegetable-based. The standard diet is grain-based. A nutritarian diet is lots of produce, different, different types, right? Beans and nuts and seeds and berries and onions and mushrooms and eggplant, tomatoes, and the American standard diet is lots of dairy and meat at every meal. Sounds like the focus is on buying single ingredient foods, nothing ultra processed. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. The doctor will now tell a story about how people responded to eating a nutritarian meal. I was lecturing to the hospital last week, and the, the hospital and all the doctors and all their um, people who donate to the hospital in this big, within this auditorium, they, gave, they made them a nutritarian buffet with my recipes. And they really liked the presentation, but it was amazing how unusual it was for them to eat even one meal, just one meal of the whole week that healthy. Just one meal without animal products, without, without oil and without sugar, you know, without dessert. You know, they had a nice healthy dessert, fruit dessert, but the point is, just to eat one meal was such a shock to them. They couldn't get over it. Because Americans eat this stuff at every single meal, right? They eat, about, they eat dairy and meat at every single meal, and they eat oil at every meal, practically. Most Americans consume more than 400 calories of oil a day. Where are those calories going to go? On your body. How can you burn it off unless you're a physical laborer or a professional athlete? Unless you're, unless you're a guy, you know, walking behind an ox in a heavy plow eight hours a day in your field, you know, like you did years ago, you know, digging all day long or chopping all day long. You're not going to burn those calories off working on a computer. It's stored as fat too rapidly. And the average American consumes animal products two to four times a day. They consume, um, the average American consumes over 70 to 100 ounces of animal product a week. And I'm saying you should be under, you should be seven and 10 ounces, not the whole week should be one tenth that. You should eat probably more than 10 ounces a week and they're eating more than that a, a, per day. You follow that? Dr. Foreman will now describe the process of moving away from a standard American diet to that of a nutritarian. White suit with yellow belt? <laughs> so to review what I'm saying here, is that when you're a white belt, you start out eating this way, you don't feel better, you feel worse. It's important to know you're gonna feel worse. You're not gonna do it if you think, you go, well, I might as well go back to my old diet, I felt better eating that. You gotta know you're gonna feel worse in the first couple of days. And if you're doing it a few months, you're a yellow belt, you move up a little bit, you enjoy healthy eating, you're not gonna feel bad anymore, but you didn't lose your emotional attachment to those foods, the foods are too addicting. You're still missing those foods when you're, and your taste buds haven't changed yet in the first few months. It takes about six months for your taste to change, and you're a brown belt, now you're, now you're starting, now you're six months or more, you're feeling true hunger in your mouth and throat, you still enjoy, you're still no longer not, you're not necessarily enjoying your healthier treats and desserts better than the old ones. That takes a little more time, but you're a black belt. Now you're eating mostly when you're hungry. You're fully in line. So a year went by. You're a black belt. You lost your emotional attachment to the unhealthy food. You enjoy your delicious dessert. Maybe you went to a party, you had a birthday party, and you chose to eat your, bed, your desserts that you liked that are healthy for you. Like maybe it was a, you know, a raw carrot beet um, made with, um, 
you know, with apples and beets and carrots and, and um, a raw carrot pie. Maybe it was a, a vanilla ice cream, maybe with a vanilla bean and some frozen banana whipped with a little fresh coconut or walnut put into a delicious banana ice cream. Maybe you enjoyed that on a, on a But in other words, you enjoyed the healthy version more than the unhealthy version. So you figure, you know what, I've lost the excess weight. I'm in great health now. I feel good. I'm off of medications. Might as well just, it's my birthday. Might as well just go out and have what I feel like having. And just as a tree, it's not going to kill me one meal. And you go out and you have some barbecued ribs. And maybe, maybe um, cheesecake a la mode, right? And you're having this feel, and you realize, I don't even, I thought I would like this because I used to love it, but now, it, like, the taste, my taste has gotten so sensitive. And my taste for sugar and, and spice, that's, like, disgusting now. You, you, you realize that you don't even, you thought you might have liked it, but you don't like it anymore. It's too overly flavored, and overly, it's too, your taste buds have gotten too strong. And you can actually taste the chemical, the bleach in the ice cream, and the chemicals in the ice cream, and it's too sweet for you. You say, I'd rather go home and eat my ice cream at home. I wanted to make myself out of the frozen banana. Frozen banana. Yes, making your own food, such as an easy ice cream recipe from single ingredients, ensures no chemicals, processed sugars, or preservatives are in the food. By reading the labels and only buying single ingredient foods helps prevent cancer and other diseases that result from eating ultra processed foods. The doctor will now tell us a surprising notion. In other words, you don't realize it that taste is learned and can be trained, and when you can, and eating a nutritarian diet to protect your health doesn't mean you're giving up pleasure in life, you're enhancing pleasure. Enhancing life by helping to prevent brain decline and other health issues through eating a highly nutritious meal plan. Here is what the doctor believes that most listeners think about nutritarian diet. Because I know what people are thinking. I don't know this audience in particular. This seems like a highly educated audience. But I think for most people listening to me speak, what they're thinking in their mind hearing me speaking, they're saying to themselves, I know this sounds good, logical, and scientific and everything, but I'd rather die younger and get more pleasure out of eating. And so what? I'll lose 10 years, 20 years of life. Who cares? At least I'll enjoy the life, my life more eating what I feel like eating. Is that what people are thinking? Right. Not you. Not you guys. Okay. It's not what I was thinking. Here is the doctor's response to this belief. All our friends. It's a myth. You don't get more pleasure out of life from eating unhealthily. It makes your life not just traumatic, but it puts you under chronic stress. It ruins your marriage. It ruins your relationship. It ruins your ability to perform at work. It ruins your intellect as you age. It ruins your enjoyment of life. And... The pleasure from eating is enhanced on a healthy diet because your taste is enhanced. And I tested this out on those 750 people. We tested them. And over time, not at the beginning, but over time, they reported they liked the nutritarian diet, the taste and pleasure, as much or better than their old diet. You don't lose pleasure in life. It's everything to gain. Dr. Foreman will now describe the power of addiction. Part of the addictive, na part of the nature of addiction is that it takes over part of the primitive brain that creates anxiety to change and it comes up with delusional ideas and rationalizations why you can't change. Part of the brain's thinking, oh, it's too hard for me, I, can, I have too much work, I travel with people, I have, my friends won't let me do this way, my family's going to object, this, you know, I'm, I'm, I can't handle eating vegetables, I'm not that per strong of a person, I don't have enough willpower, it's, I'm, I've had too much stress in my life, I was abused by my mother when I was six years old. The, you have all these reasons why you can't do this delusional self-talk, why you can't eat healthy. Why it's for somebody else, not for you. Never the right time to quit smoking. It's never the right time to quit because I'm too much stress right now. My son found his exam. My mother found his husband his job. I'm not pregnant yet. There's always some reason why you can't quit. But you know what? It was, it, it's not the time. To, that smoking is causing these stresses and your inability to cope with all the stresses in your life. I know that, that addiction with food is destroying your life little by little. Do it now. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.